Do you have shoulder arthritis and you're looking for a safe program? Uh, do you have shoulder arthritis and you're looking for a safe exercise routine? Keep watching and I will show you how to warm up your joints, how to improve your mobility and increase your strength so you have less pain and you move and feel better. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva Venas of PainFreeForLifePilaris.com located in San Diego, California. Here on my channel I share weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to improve your strength, your flexibility and your mobility. In this video I'm going to take you through a routine that I use with a client who has severe arthritis in her shoulders and every time we do these moves she's feeling much much better. So let's get you feel better too. The first thing we'll do is an arm dead hang. So if you're sitting on a chair, you just want to lean forward a little and let your arm hang forward and just circle it around. Let that arm circle around in the shoulder socket and reverse it. Okay, for the other side, I'm going to come up on my knees and you can, of course, stay seated. And just let your arm hang and do those dead hands and those circles again. Just uh, let your mobility increase a little bit with each circle. Uh, you don't have to take it to too much pain. Make sure that, that you're staying within your comfort zone a little bit. Okay, and then next you're going to open your arms to the side. First the palms of the hands will face in towards your body and then elongate your thoracic spine, draw your head back, sit up nice and tall and rotate the palms of the hands up and turn your biceps to and your elbows up towards the ceiling. And then let's go back to where we started. You're going to turn down your hands and just nice and easy keeping your upper back straight turn the palms of the hands up the reason I, I'm telling you to keep your upper back straight is because if you hunch forward that will limit your mobility even more so sitting up tall drawing back the shoulders is really important so you can move your arms and shoulders better um, next we're gonna do a strengthening exercise so you can still sit in your chair, just lean forward a little and tuck your elbows into your sides, roll back the shoulders again, drawing the chin and you're just going to press your arms back, straighten your elbows, also turn the palms of your hands up towards the ceiling and then you're going to come back to your starting position, let's repeat that tricep press, we are pushing back. And then we are turning the palms of the hands up towards the ceiling. Uh, let's do it again. Bend your elbows, pull the collarbones apart, mm, press back the arms, turn the palms of the hands up. And we'll do this one more time. At home do at least 10 repetitions. And of course there is no need to kneel like I'm doing it. You can stay seated in a chair, just lean forward. Okay, and then next, again, <clears throat> stay in your chair and put your forearms and the palms of the hands up. Imagine there's a glass wall in front of you and your hands and your, your forearms are on that glass wall. And then let's just slide one of the hands up against that glass wall as high as you can go and same thing on the other side feel free to go as high as you're able to you can fully extend your arm if you want but if you have difficulties going there then of course you can stop a little bit sooner let's go for one more on each side and this exercise also builds strength in 
the muscles in your middle back and in your upper back so you know, overall you'll have more shoulder strength and more shoulder stability um okay last one we're gonna clench our fingers and bring your hands over your left shoulder you'll probably feel a nice stretch in the right shoulder as you do that and then straighten your arms again and now bring the arms over the left shoulder again stretching mm, that uh, lateral shoulder your deltoid muscles that will increase your mobility too in the shoulder girdle and also it's building strength you have to hold your arms out in front of you make sure it feels like you're extending your arms out from underneath the armpits make sure that the top of the shoulders are staying nice and relaxed we don't want to over recruit the neck muscles and let's do these diagonal prayers uh, one more time on each side going to the left keep the head nice and centered keep your upper back nice and straight and one last time over the right shoulder okay you can just shake your arms out a little bit and add a couple of upper body rotations as well as the more rotation uh, mobility you have in your thoracic spine the easier your shoulders will move so i hope that this this um, stretching mobility and strengthening routine felt really good on your shoulders and you are empowered that you can still exercise and you can still move as you should because if you're not moving your shoulders if you let your mobility and your strength go then arthritis will just take over more and more so it's really important that you keep moving um, if you would like a complete movement and stretching protocol that you can do at home uh, visit my website and check out uh, my on-demand home programs under the shop tab um, choose the stretching and mobility home program and you will have a wonderful program that will help you uh, move and strengthen your shoulders furthermore if you would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, also go to my website www.painfreeforlifepilates.com and schedule a free 15-minute phone consultation so we can get things started. Um, for more great video tips on how to eliminate chronic pain in your body without the, the use of drugs and surgeries and how to increase your strength, flexibility and mobility, check out my videos on my YouTube channel.